All right, this time we are going for a 9,000 plus sharp edged blade. Not as critical to get to 9,000 on these. They eventually wear out every time you sharpen them. Um, they lose a little quality, but I can usually hit 9K on them. So this is my start for these. I start on uh, Force 9 shaping mallet. And this is the trickiest part is you need to come in two coordinates. So starting from here, you need to come in one, and then come in a second coordinate and hit right there. So it takes a little bit of getting used to the way metal moves to find that right spot. Uh, then from there, I just chase the corner diagonally up the blade. And then I chase this front end up. And then I like to kind of beat down this back edge. And then kind of chase in the middle here. And then from here is where it starts to get a little bit more improvisational. But what that start does is it leaves this piece up. It gets really weird to work metal into here because there's nothing in front of it or behind it. So it leaves that in a good space where I can work it down instead of trying to push it up. Gets most of the back kind of built up. It gets a lot of metal out of the front. We still need to move a little bit of metal from like the middle here to the back and out of this front a bit. This front always keeps filling up like shovel tips do. So I'll aggressively just completely smash it down as I go sometimes until I get a little later on. Starting to shape up decent. We're at 6,000 here and we haven't even worked the front edge. So this is about where I'll start thinking of working this front edge in. So can't use a chisel on it because it's all angled. So we got to go ball peen and just full force. Trying to work it front and back. This second pass is not super critical this early, but I like to see where I'm at. So 8200, so this is already a uh, usable knife blade, but we've got plenty of hits left to make it something that'll last longer. So this you can't really tap down with uh, the mallet. That we're gonna have to switch out to the ball peen for. I get a little aggressive because it tends to fill back in. So starting off with some fours there. Back here, I can get away with some fours, but a little less aggressive on this side. Use the shaping mallet here to tap those down a touch. Yeah, it's looking real nice. Front edge can use a little more re-refinement, but just kind of looking 85. Um, I'm gonna go down to a three on the shaping there. Probably come down to a two here. I don't want to overdo that. You see, we've got a little too much metal along this front edge. So I'm gonna come work my way from a two up to a three. If anything, we want this front edge to be a little bit low, because when we do the very front, uh, it'll push the metal back up into the second row. So we want this second row really to be at or below its target before we do that. These back wings, you can't really get with the uh, shaping mallet either. You have to pull out the ball peen to kind of deal with those. And then wherever they push the metal, you can probably use the shaping mallet to get it out of. Uh, so I'm going to come up to a six. You can do a nine. It really doesn't matter. Just any high force and redo this front edge again. This time I'm going to go from the tip to the back. Uh, that seems to push metal out of the tip better than 
the reverse. All right, so at 9136, uh, and still quite a few blows, so this is going to turn out to be a nice one. You know, for a sharp edge blade that loses quality over time, you could just stop here. Uh, I'm just going to finish it out as kind of a further example of smithing in general. I never, I never pull anything off the anvil early. You got to see what you can, just got to see what you can get. working this middle row back some. That's a bit too high. Alright, back to ball peen. Said uh, Tapperoonie on one of my last videos and made myself cringe. Alright, 9-3. Nice. What is my current best out of iron this tail? Sharp edge blade nine three five nine. So this might uh, this might end up my new record for the tail. Maybe I should uh, record videos more often. I seem to get lucky. Oh, that's not going the right direction. That's okay. We'll come back and address that. I'm gonna take care of some of this. get real gentle with it going with some one hits. These aren't very out of place. That I'll do a two on. That can still handle even another tap. I'm looking, I've got just a few hits left. I'd really like to get to 9.5. So I'm really focusing on spots where there's something raised next to something lowered. So uh, lower here, raised here. Oh, well, you know you're getting close when you mix them up. Okay, so raised here, lowered here. In fact, I got a lot of lower in the back there, so I'm probably just going to work around that edge. Oh, too fragile. Ah, well, I got above. I'm happy with it anyway. 9486. So, yeah. Uh, that's an example of a knife. Happy stabbing, Egypt.